Hi everybody, I thought I would do a quick video on the DIY arbors that we're building. Uh, we had looked on home hardware and you know like certain websites and stuff for some of the wooden ones and they were crazy expensive and that's when uh, both from watching um, some YouTube videos off with Doug and Stacy and then of course doing some more research we decided to go this route instead so I will show you what we've done so far. So the first part of the process was digging out the beds. These, this arbor here is going to be for growing cucamelons and sugar snap peas. So right now my husband is hammering in um, tea posts. I know and, it would be easier with a pole driver. Yes, it would be easier with a pole driver, but because we were only doing four posts, we didn't want to invest 50 bucks in a pole driver. So we decided to go with eight foot T-posts and we're driving three feet into the ground and then leaving five feet above the ground. And once we get to the point of attaching the wire, I will show you why we went with such long T-posts. So we're just making sure right now we're using um, a welded wire, not a cattle panel. And so we're just making sure that the distance between the T-posts at this point is the four feet, which is how wide, and you can actually see it in the distance there, the welded wire is. So we'll get the other two T-posts in and then we'll explain the welded wire part. All right, so this is the wire that we decided to go with. We went with a welded wire. I believe it was 24 gauge, if memory serves, or 22? 21. 21. Um, the reason we didn't go with cattle panels, so cattle panels is a fantastic option too. I'm just going to stand. Um, the reason we didn't go with cattle panel was simply because of transportation reasons. We had absolutely no way to get the panel home. Um, we don't have a flatbed trailer, we don't have a pickup truck of any kind, so our only option would have been to cut the panel down the center. And then instead of having like a nice arced arbor, we would have had more of like a triangular shape, which we didn't like. Now because of what we're growing, um, we actually finished and completed an arbor yesterday. I get my husband to take, see if you can see that from there. We actually go up close and take a look. Um, this one's going to have morning glories, which won't get so very heavy. And the other one, the second one that we're building now, is going to be home to cucumelon and sugar snap peas. Again, two crops that don't get very heavy. If you were planning on using this system to grow anything with any substantial weight, like say you wanted to do like a grape arbor or winter squash of any kind, butternuts or spaghetti squash or anything, it's not going to work because as you can see, it does lack, like it's, it's a little bendy at the top here. But again, it's not going to be having a lot of weight. Sandy. So how we attached it, um, I can show this to you now because this one's complete, is again we used um, like a galvanized, wire. a galvanized wire, thank you, <laughs> to attach it. And we went, in this case, we went along the outside of the arbor. And you want to make sure you leave a little bit. The first time we did this, we actually had this part all the way down to the ground. And we very quickly realized that the arbor was very short. Um, and no one in our family is exceptionally tall, but you know, if my brother comes to visit, who's about six feet tall, he would have had to duck to go under. So the solution to that was to lift the, um, the welded wire up off the ground a little bit, and that gave it a higher arc. Like this. <laughs> so we're going to, I'll show you how we attach the wire and everything once we get started. We're going to cut the welded wire now and we went with 16 feet which is the same length as your standard cattle panels so 16 feet means you've got about eight feet to your apex depending on where you start it on your t posts so we've just checked the time and realized that we're late for dinner so we're gonna have to finish the project tomorrow but the hardest job is actually getting the earth dug out and everything measured and getting your posts in i just wanted to briefly talk about why we went with eight foot t posts and that was because we went with a um a lighter gauge wire. Had we gone with a cattle panel, which is um, a gauge four, yeah, it's much more rigid than this. This has quite a bit of flexibility to it. So by going with taller posts, we've got five feet here that's going to provide added, what's the word I'm looking for? Exactly, added support um, for the wire. So that way only the arc part on the top doesn't have the support. So that was why we went with longer posts. If you decide to do this with a cattle panel, you probably don't need eight foot um, posts. Maybe me go with like five. Five or six, yeah, yeah. it's probably something that'd be fine. So we'll come out and finish filming this tomorrow 
Uh, basically all that's left to do is attach the wire to the posts and then uh, mix up some manure, uh, peat, and some soil so yes. we've got a growing medium. But later, we are going to put the plants over. Yeah, later. Yeah. Later. So we'll be back filming out tomorrow. Where it's hopefully warmer. <laughs> okay, so we're back at it again today. It's much nicer out. Um, and we've already had to remove one post. So here's a tip for you. Um, use a level <laughs> because, see what we did is we just measured four feet across in between the two posts. But what ended up happening is they were both kind of leaning so they weren't parallel and we weren't able to attach the wire. So um, my poor husband probably burst a spleen trying to pull the <laughs> post out of the ground. Remember, they're three feet down. So definitely a tip, um, a level. A level is your best friend Maybe doing this. It does seem like an obvious tip, but we didn't do it. So I figure somebody watching this might not do it either. So we're working on attaching um, the welded wire now. And the way we do it is we do one post, we do one whole side first and then we go and attach on the second side. <laughs> so with our arbor done, the boys are now planting the sugar snap peas. So this side will be sugar snap peas, snap. and then the other side will be... Peas. Nope, this side's peas. What's oh. on the other side? Cucamelons. And so when we put out the, um, the post, we had a little bit of soil on both sides, so we're thinking on the inner areas, we'll probably plant some calendula or some other annuals. So thanks for watching this video and checking it out. Hopefully you guys are inspired to build some of your own arbors as well. There's the boys doing their planting. And I hope you guys are getting out in the garden and enjoying, like we've got a great and beautiful day here today. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate a thumbs up. Uh, you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram. I'm on Twitter, but I don't tweet too much. And you can check out some other videos that I've done um, with this whole quarantine thing happening. We're probably going to be filming a lot more videos. So thanks again for watching and happy gardening.